Hi chicas, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody is doing good today. Today we're going to be working with this design, so then let's begin. We're going to be using the gel polishes from Beatles. You can get these from Amazon and it's their pastel collection in numbers 131, 127, and 129. So to begin, as you guys can see here, I'm going to start by applying my foil gel from iGel Beauty. And this gel, if you guys haven't tried it, I will highly recommend it. You try it because it's really good. If you're struggling with um, the application of your foil, it might be the gel you're using. It's not helping you. So I would highly suggest you try this one. It's really good. And I just go ahead and cure that in the lamp for about a minute and a half just so that it cures really, really good. So now I'm going to come in with my foil. This one is from Louis Vuitton and I'm going to be applying it here or adhering it onto wherever we placed our foil gel. So just make sure that it is really, really stuck to the gel and, you know, there's nothing or like any empty spaces, if that makes sense. Uh, so just so that it stays in place and it doesn't move around while I'm applying my acrylic, I'm going to be applying a thin coat of top coat cure that in the lamp for 60 seconds and once it comes out I'm going to apply gold foil to adhere it in place. I'm going to use crystal clear acrylic. And today in today's video I'm not going to be using any colored acrylics as you guys saw at the beginning I didn't show you any any of them. Um, I really wanted to work with gels this time so that's why I am not using any colored acrylics. The only acrylic I'm using is my crystal clear acrylic and that's to cap these two middle nails and the rest um, the rest of the nails because we are going to be applying the gel polish from Beatles. So as you guys can see, I'm going to start building up my nail using my crystal clear acrylic. And I'm using the Glam and Glitz crystal clear and my monomer from Glam and Glitz. Unfortunately, my monomer from Not Polish, it was only 8 ounces. So um, I ran out of that, but it's okay. I think I'm going to purchase the big gallon. Not anytime soon, but I'm really, really, really looking into trying to get another bigger container from that acrylic from that monomer i'm sorry because it is just really good so if you guys didn't know we do have a discount code with not polish so it'll be in the description box below don't forget to check that out and also my etsy shop is opened as you guys know that um and we have a lot of stuff there we are back in stock with our bling boxes and um, we do have the C-curve tips if you guys are wondering where you can purchase those um, since these are the one, the tips that I'm using in this video. I do have those tips available on my Etsy shop as well. So um, I do have the red bling box now and it comes with 480 pieces, 24 different uh, shapes. And then I do have the smaller AB box, which contains uh, 20 different shapes and 400 pieces. And then I have the usual, the AB crystal box, which contains 480 pieces and 24 different shapes. So everything will be on my Etsy shop. Go and check that out. Um, I'm really, really, really looking forward to creating my own website now, you guys. Uh, don't get me wrong. I've really liked working with Etsy and I really liked having my little website there But honestly, I just want to move forward with my little store and just create my own website. Tell me what you guys think um, Should I should I just stay with Etsy? Um, just tell me um, But yeah, let's see what happens in a further future to see what you know what happens with my little Etsy shop um, But yeah, anyway, yeah, everything will be linked in the description box the brush that I'm using here is the number 12 brush from Pana, which is really good as well. You can find this one on Amazon. 
And um, I'm just going to finish up capping everything and building up the structure of the nail. And of course, file off camera. So now that everything's nice and capped and of course well filed and very clean, we're going to be applying our gel polishes. These are the, one the ones from Beatles. I told you at the beginning that this was the brand and they are really good if you're looking for inexpensive gel polishes. Because a lot of people prefer to build up the structure of the nail with acrylic and then work on top with gel polishes. Me personally, not really, you guys. I really don't like to do that. I prefer my colored acrylics. But if you prefer this, then and these are really good polishes if you're looking for very inexpensive gel polishes. They're very pigmented. Um, it only took two coats, you guys, and no streaky. It's not streaky or anything. They're really good and, like I said, very inexpensive. So go on Amazon, go on Amazon <laughs> right now and find your Beatles gel polishes because they're good. So um, I did go ahead and apply my matte top coat on those, um, on the pastel nails. And then I'm going to be applying some rhinestones. Uh, I'm going to be doing the little crown on top of the cuticle area of my pinky using this little gold um, I don't know, it's this little gold circle-y thing. And then I place an AB crystal right in the center. And then some other AB crystals um, around it. And then I'm going to come in with my white um, acrylic. And I'm going to be doing some 3D here. For this, I'm using my number 5 Kalinsky um, 3D brush. And this one, I got it off of eBay. It's been working really good. I've had a long time. I've I literally purchased this like four years ago maybe and it's still doing a really good job you guys so I'm gonna you know finish up my 3d here and I'll be right back with you guys And to finish everything up, I'm going to be making my two middle fingers or my two middle nails uh, very shiny. So I'm going to be using my Not Polish Shiny Top Coat and just applying it really good on those two, on the ring finger and my middle finger. Um, it doesn't have to be, you know, just a really thick coat or two to three coats, no. One thin layer will do and trust me, your nails are going to look perfect. So I also applied a little bit of that top coat underneath those two nails since they are a little bit of on the crystal side or on the clear side. So this is about it, you guys. I just applied a little bit of cuticle oil and this is what the nails look like. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed this design, this video, and thank you so much for being here. So I will see you on the next one. Stay safe. God bless and bye-bye.